Most people think it's a middle-aged problem, but some parts of the country report a steep rise in the painful condition among children as young as age five. Dr. Alan Mask is here now to explain. Calling kidney stones and children, whoever thought we'd be talking about really? that, you know, there's really no good reliable data as to how big of a problem it is, but many hospitals, including the prestigious Children's Hospital in Boston, report such an increase, they now have a pediatric kidney stone center. But why? Well, diet plays a big role, but there are other factors. If 13-year-old Brady Whitlow ever has intense abdominal pain again, she'll know what it is. Her first kidney stone was three years ago. Uh, this summer, so about July, I had another one. Rex pediatric urologist Dr. Tim Brokowski says among his kidney stone patients, he always asks parents the same question. Do you have a history of kidney stones? My mom has it, and her mom has it, and my granddad has it. Some people are genetically prone to developing kidney stones. The most common ones are formed when oxalate, a byproduct of certain foods, binds to calcium in the urine. It's amazing how small it is. This one's probably about a millimeter, maybe two millimeters at the most. On CT scans, they show up as bright white spots. Now, it can leave the kidney, lodge in the ureter, block urine flow, and cause pain and inflammation. It can take as long as a couple of weeks to pass it. In addition to family history, two big risk factors are, number one, not drinking enough clear liquids, and too much salt in the diet. Trying to stay away from things like uh, Coca-Cola, or dark tea is probably a good idea too because they actually can add to the stone formation. Children with a family history of kidney stones should be especially careful with their diet. That's why Brady Whitlow and her family carefully watch what she eats and make sure she drinks plenty of water. Now, Dr. Mask, what more can parents do to try and prevent this? All kids can benefit from drinking more water. Dehydration is a major risk factor for these kidney stones. How do you tell? Well, take a look at your urine. If your urine is clear, that means you're probably in a good state of hyd hydration. Okay, if it's dark orange, dark yellow, it's probably a sign that you are dehydrated. All right, good advice. Thank you, Dr. Mask.